Schmo, put the pro, he's 15 and 1, he's the fighter, he's the farmer, he's the rapper, he's thug nasty, he's the number 10th ranked UFC featherweight in the world, Bryce Mitchell, how we doing? After that introduction, I'm wide awake, dude, thank you for having me, the honor is mine, and I'm just glad to be here, brother. It's good to be here on the couch, man, this is where you're staying for fight week, we got the hyperbaric chamber going on, downtown TJ Brown, he's getting in right now. Yeah, so for y'all who don't know what the hyperbaric chamber is or does, it basically puts you in like a, that's a four PSI environment. They make them up to 15 PSI, and it's basically good for your brain, your joints, and it cures cancer. And it also puts you on like a 99% or sometimes a 100% oxygen, and you breathe in this pure oxygen. That's what kills the cancer, and it pushes that, that oxygen into your brain more than regular atmospheric pressure does and so it literally regenerates the body it's it's the future of healing the body and so let me tell you the top five that i have the big five for recovery okay because recovery is going to become a big deal in the future um they're going to look at this as the dark ages the dummies who just went and fought and didn't do all the recovery okay that's going to be us we're the lab rats you know this generation of fighters is but the next generation of fighters they're going to have the hyperbaric chamber the hot the cold Oh, uh, shit. Electric therapy. Electric therapy. That's a big one. Nobody talks about it. It, it, it. it shocks you. You know, it's good for your muscles. And then physical therapy. Somebody like stretching you, uh, massage, whatever you want to call it. Reiki, whatever, you know. But those are the big five, brother. But for the cold therapy, you're more of the type of guy that likes the ice baths over the cryotherapy chambers, right? Cryotherapy is for pussies, man. It's for people who don't want to sit in that ice bath because they're scared of the ice water. And I, you know, there's, I, I'm obviously being a little bit extreme just to make people laugh out there, but okay. um, I'm not saying the cryotherapy is bad for you, but it's not as good as ice bath. Let me ask you, Schmo, how do you cook your chicken? Well, Schmo, make sure it's cooked all the way through. We don't let it be pink over there. But also on the quick side note, we agree with you. Hyperbaric chambers are great. Yes. Cryotherapy, not so good, especially when you got the ice bath. That's right, because you cook your chicken low and slow. So what that, the ice bath is a low and slow cook. It's going to get your bones cold. When you get into cryotherapy, you're cooking the skin. That's like putting your chicken on the grill, hot as it gets, and then taking it off in three minutes. Well, you cook the skin, but I want it cooked to the bone, baby. Do you prefer a steam room or a sauna? Shoot, um... I don't like either of them. I like the hot tubs because you can't breathe in. In the sauna and the steam room, you can't breathe in cool air, and so my lungs get hot, and then that makes your brain hot. But if you are in a sauna or a steam room, I like a bag of ice on the head because it keeps the brain cold, and uh, it just gives you a little bit. You, you can actually sit in there longer and get, get more benefit. But if my head's getting hot and my brain is cooking, your brain don't need to get up to those temperatures. Um, your body does. You know, the benefit is for the body. and You're not trying to cook your brain. So I like to go like neck deep in a, in a warm tub, to be honest. There it is, man. Now let's talk about you during this fight. Well, you got 50K Danny K. He's the number 12th ranked guy. This thing's been brewing for years, hasn't it? Yep, it's it's been brewing. The pot's been stirred, brother. And we're, we're cooking up a, a, something special on Saturday. Something special. Yeah, I can't ruin a surprise, but um, something special is going to happen. I hope everybody can watch it on September 23rd, this Saturday, because I'm going to make history. There's uh, Me and Dan are both going to make history. We're going to do something that has never been done in the UFC before, and uh, I'm not going to ruin a surprise, but trust me, it's cooking. Well, you already had all the schmoes out there with that twister over there in Washington, D.C. during that flight night. The schmo was there for it. That's a rarity. So we all know that you can always do some special things, Thug Nasty. Well, I'm glad somebody thinks so, brother. <laughs> yeah, we certainly do, man. But how important would you say is this fight just for the own psyche? We're not talking about just pecking order of things in this division, but because the schmo knows he had to pull out of the last fight. You've been dealing with the back injuries and stuff like that. And then obviously you had the first professional loss to Ilya Taporia. How important is this one for you, Thug Nasty? You know, two fights ago I was sick. My last fight, my back locked up on me. I couldn't even make it to the fight, so I had to pull out. made me look like a coward. And then, uh, you know, like the devil's just been throwing all these things at me. The devil's been playing every card he's got. But what the devil don't know is right now I'm sitting on a royal flush. 
and I've been putting all my chips in, and the devil's trying to call my bluff, but I ain't bluffing. I'm telling you right now, I'm going to put all my chips into this fight, and you're going to see the true warrior, Bryce Mitchell, revealed. Was the devil hanging around your ex-girlfriend? She was doing some crazy stuff to the property. The Schmo saw you making that announcement on social media. Hey, the devil's been working all sorts of ways to try to tear me down, and I know this ain't this ain't flesh and blood. Uh, the battle that's going on in my life, the battle in my life has been spiritual, and the devil's been throwing everything he can at me to get me to turn away from God. And every time that the devil strikes me, I'm like Job. My faith gets stronger, and and God's going to end up blessing me. I don't know when, and I'm hoping that it's this Saturday. But I know that. It says in Proverbs, a man's a man will be paid back for the work that his hands do. And, and I know my hands have put in the work, and I know because of Proverbs, I will be recompensed. Okay, and uh, I don't know when, but I believe it's coming, and I do believe it'll be on the 23rd that I get to take my highest form. Co-main event, all the schmoes can't wait to see it. But what's keeping you schmotivated right now, Bryce, in this fight game, man? Because there's a lot of things, a lot of talents that you have outside of the cage work. Uh, just the good that I'm going to do for my family and the farm after this fight. I know that it's really going to change my life after this fight. I'm going to pay some things off and uh, be able to progress my life. I've also built a house, so it's this money's going to help finish the house off. Uh, you know, the floors, the walls, the... It needs a washer, a dryer, an oven. I'm going to buy me a nice oven so my woman can cook whatever the hell she wants. You know what I mean? We're going to have the nice stuff. Right now we're living in a 30-foot trailer. You know, I've been in it for eight years, so uh, it's time for me to level up in life, you know? Like to hear it. Speaking of leveling up, the champion in your division, Alexander Volkanovsky. Who do you think he's fighting next? Is it Ilya Taporia? Who do you want to see the champ defend against? Shoot, you know, I'm either way... I'm happy, but yeah, him and Ilya will probably be the most entertaining fight. Um, of course, I want to fight the champ. That's I'm biased. I want to fight the champ right after this win on Saturday. You know, I go out there and get a finish. It'll put me pretty close up there, depending on how spectacular the finish. Uh, and if somebody else gets hurt and they need somebody to fill in, hey, man, that's me. There it is right there, calling his own shots. But do you think Ilya Taporia, he's got what it takes to dethrone Volkanovsky? Or do you think when you get the opportunity to eventually fight for the gold strap, it's going to be against Alexander Volkanovsky? Shoot. Um, I don't think that Ilya would win, but he could. I mean, he, he hits hard and fast. He's not quite as well-rounded as Volkanovsky. And... Um, but that would be a great fight. But yeah, that's that would be that. I want to win this fight and then fight one of those people up top, man. You know, I, I don't. I'm tired of sitting in the the back of the bus, man. I'm trying to come up through the front, and you know, it's like I, I feel that I know I can hang with these guys, and I just feel like I haven't got my shot yet. And when I did beat the my first top ten guy, instead of moving me up, they moved me back, and I went backwards in rank. And uh, you can only do that for so long. The truth will be revealed. You mark my words, the truth will be revealed. I will get my chance. I will show what I'm capable of. They can bullshit me for a little bit, but eventually the truth comes to light. The cream rises to the top. You cannot stop destiny. Shout out Macho Man Randy Savage. Now as a proud American citizen who doesn't believe in that TikTok dancing. Yep. What would you like to say to all the Bryce Mitchell fans out there worldwide? I love you guys with all my heart. Thank you for watching when I fight. And um, shoot, thank you. <laughs> He's the pro. I'm the schmo. Las Vegas. We're out. Let's go. Let's go.